really with you. Right. Because they're not going to endure their affliction like you're going to endure their affliction. And that's the most I put the spirit on. But we right. know yeah. so many times it, it might it just might not be like that. We don't know. Nine times out of ten. Now, uh, also, too, say know your weaknesses, whatever it is. Yep. Power, money, women, weed, food, whatever it is. Yep. Satan's going to show up in some form with that very thing you need. Yeah, you know what? Hey, all you got to do is do this one last job. Do this one last job. I'll hook you up, cuz. You know, as soon as you do the job, it's not right there on the gate to blast you, man. You just set don't up. know. Set up. The Lord, yeah, yep. You go up to the heavens, be sitting there, the Lord sitting in the throne. I knew you was going to fall. Yep. You know? Or that spiritual heart get closed on you, man. That's right. Yeah. And I... I just wanted to give a quick, just real quick. And I know a woman that have agreed, you know, that in the Bible there's going to be a time of great tribulation. And I already gave up. I ain't going to make it. I can't, I can't do that. See? In the wilderness, Yo. I can't do that. And, 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 I mean, they just gave up. That's so, it. You go. Already, they pre they predetermined in their head. They can't, they can't do, it. do it. That's it. But even with her though, the Lord might put the spirit on and be like, nope, because you ain't on your own accord. You do what the Lord said. Lord, you know? Jeremiah was like, nah, uh, you got many examples. Jonah, Jeremiah, Moses was like, Lord, I can't speak with you. Harry going to be with you. I'm going to give you the spirit to do this. The Lord tell you, Jonah told me, nah, I ain't going to hit him with the spirit. I'm going this way. And he swallowed his damn son. He was inside that way. The Lord said, you going to go now? Yes. Yeah, I guess I will. That, he was in that thing for three days. That's Hell, right. You're the big nasty fish. You smell right. like dead, other dead people. You down there? Fish. Yeah, you in the damn thing stomach, man. You don't know what's going on. Beach. Yep. <laughs> Lord, you gonna do what I said. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? What so, the Lord say do? Also, the Lord gonna put the spirit on his men too, though. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that us for us to endure that, man. Because yeah. it's great, great hell and tribulation is coming. It ain't. It ain't. It's, if you're saying it now like it's but that's thing, right. it's gonna be tough, man. It's gonna be real tough. It's gonna be like the scripture says, it's gonna be no time uh for prayer like for never anything. before. Like a time like never before, man. Right. Your affliction in those times is gonna be is gonna surpass any time in, that you can look up in a book, man. Get that Amos 5 and 18 on that too. Nah, that. I don't know how niggas like that gonna get away from Esau with their damn pants. You gonna get away. You probably won't even make it to, to the end. And you don't want that. <laughs> 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 Go ahead. Uh, verse 10. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they, self-willed. Right, now it said those that are in the flesh. Being in the flesh, it tells you that a carnal man, you can't please the most high. You gotta be spiritual. A carnal person gonna be looking after their flesh, you know. You get hungry, as soon as, as soon as you get hungry and you try to hold out for the Lord, you're gonna give him up. You're gonna go against him in order to get food to satisfy your flesh. Go ahead. Presumptuous are they self-willed. They are not afraid to speak evil of dignity. That's why people find it so easy to talk trash about what we do. Because they, they're not afraid to speak evil of dignity. Go ahead, bro. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring out railing, railing accusations against them before the Lord. Right. He ain't going to go to the Lord and say, Lord, they may not. Yeah, I know they preach your word, but they call me an Edomite. Okay, Edomite. You didn't go before the Lord and say that you're just doing it because you're trying to get men to be on your side. This this dude with, with going back to ragamuffin, talking all that shit, you know. <laughs> and really, his problem is because he probably was a Rastafarian. He know he preached against that because that's the most confused and Hollywood. I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know the whole dreadlocks and all that. Hey. Many brothers up here, brothers that had dreads, he used to smoke weed, he was in all that stuff, man. But the Most High showed us the right way. Go ahead. But these are natural brute beasts mm -hmm. made to be taken and destroyed. If they lie, they're natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Here it is, the Lord delivering his word, and these people can't get past, oh, I, the new iPhone got it, you can put your finger on it and open up. You ain't got to put it in the code, or whatever it is, man. You know, these petty trinkets that the Most High give us to pass the time to make Babylon a little bit better, we use them for just that, but then ain't nothing to put your whole life in. Go ahead, bro. Speak evil of the things that they understand not. That's plain. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Right, these people gonna perish in their own corruption. You know, because they natural group beasts made to be taken and destroyed. That's their life. They were preordained to this condemnation. Like it says, I think in Jude, or somewhere there. I got Jude 1 verse 18. Yep. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time. Beautiful. Who shall walk after their own ungodly lusts. Yeah. Like the mother was born into, man. Walker. That, that, that's what y'all was created to be, man. Scoffer. Yeah. Scoffer against the word. Again, a lot of people always walk past. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they speak. They speak evil. 
people of dignity. What they said, we say something when they speak what they know not. Because everybody come up here thinking they know something, they speak yeah. crazy about us. But they don't know, they don't even know what we teach. Yeah, yeah, they speak of evil things that they understand not. Right, they speak of evil things that they understand not. They don't know what we teach. They but might, in, yeah, they, sorry, sorry. They, might, they might hear us say one thing and they take that one thing and they, they, they formulate a whole perception of us. Right? Uh, they might see can't one, make it. They might see this sign yeah, yeah. and they formulate a whole perception of us without hearing the whole of the matter. In, in, right. Instead of doing, but instead of what? Asking. Oh, yeah, it, it, it seems it's like our people hates that. It's the problem that they don't, first of all, they're mad because they don't know nothing. Then they don't even want to inquire to know of it. Right. Ask Especially questions. from their own people. Right. It's just like they want to know everything, but they don't. Y'all don't know. Right. Any, any, any wise person would ask for counsel right. of that matter. Okay, but uh, what, what's this? How do you do that? Okay, what's that about? I know of me. If I'm walking past and I see World War III, right. uh, the end of the world, son, and I'm like, I'm like, let me know what's going on here. What's this about, bro? Once I ask, when I ask that question, I'm going to shut the hell up because I want to hear what they got to say. They ain't going to be talking while they talking. I'm gonna let me have some understanding about what's going on here. Without people, half the time they do come up here, they run in their mouth all the time. But, like the brother, that's why the brother told us to bring out Luke 17 or 26. So this is just like in the days of Noah, man. Huh? Oh, that's so wrong. Ah, we got the best military. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ain't yeah. nobody gonna say that. shoot us. Hey, okay. I was around somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was around somebody. Yeah, yeah. 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 Boy, we're two and zero. Oh, oh my God! So man. what? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Tom Brady was two and zero in the Super Bowl four times now. That's awesome. How many even lost? I got a perfect. Yeah, he lost three Super Bowls. Perfect yeah. precept to back that up. Uh, in the spirit we've been going into, this is Matthew chapter sixteen. I started one. The Pharisees also in the second day and tempted, desired him that he will show them a sign from heaven. Right, and people want to do that now. Prove y'all the men of God. Look, the scriptures speak of us. And if we ain't them men, then hey, leave us alone. Don't worry about it. He oh, answered God. and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning, it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the, the sign of the times? Right, look at the news. And, hey, the nation's getting ready to fight World War III. Just because it never happened before don't mean that it's not gonna happen. And, and, and everything, if you know the scriptures, the prophecies are like they are. How did it, how did the house of Israel at one point was sleep? Now every year more and more and more and more Israelites waking up. The scriptures say this is gonna happen at the end of time. I got it right here. But did you say watch the news? Daniel? This is Daniel. You think our people slept? You think our people are watching the news? Yeah. Hey, they too busy on Facebook and Instagram. Yep. They ain't watching no world news. They no watch love no current yeah, love and hip hop. They watch no current news. Yeah, this still very they, they, they don't know what's actually going on in the world, man. And then they and then they think, well, it doesn't concern me. Oh, it's gonna concern you, man. That's right. These things concern you because the Lord called the disciples. See, we never had that dumb shit again. Making sounds and interrupting the word. Right. Yeah, deal with it. The Lord gave the disciples and us signs to look for to when it's coming my be. And one of those signs, like the brother just brought up, the fact that Israel at one point knew nothing, yeah. weren't, weren't there, but now we're awake and we understand why they're teaching the word. Right. So this is Daniel 12. I'm going I'm to read more and I'm going to jump down to like 8. Daniel 12 and verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even unto the time of the end. So the Lord is saying that we're going to seal up the understanding of the scriptures until the time of the end. Until Solomon will come back. Right. Now, Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Right now, knowledge is being increased, man. And for the brothers as a body, man, we have knowledge of all things. Okay? So, jump down to eight. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O, then said I, O my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. The words are being unsealed now, so we know that we're in the time of the end, man. Those signs, the Lord's giving us signs to know what time they are. Uh, to back you up, Ezekiel 37, and uh, verse 7, it says, So I prophesied, as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. 
jumping to verse 9. Uh, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath. And that's happening now. The scriptures, the word is going throughout the four corners of the earth. The brothers waking up in them areas, and they teaching the word, right? And it's reaching other Israelites. Thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Uh, so I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. So right now, that breath, that understanding is coming to the dry bones. We stand up on our feet. Everybody come down this, they look. I'm going to end you know, and they go on. I'm going to end you. They despise this. Yep. Go ahead. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1. Everything, there is a season and a time and every purpose under the heaven. And right now is that time for the word to be taught. And that there you go. Now it's to be increased like the brother read. You know? Go ahead. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. And then what the most I said, he said, they will build, but I will throw down. They will plant, but I'm going to pluck it up. All the things that these Edomites do, the Lord going to do. Go ahead. A time to kill, and a time to heal. That's right. A time to break down, and a time to build up. Right and, now, that's what we're going, man. Spirit, building up the brothers, right? You know, the spirit. So building the brothers in the spirit. A time to weep, a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace, a time to refrain from embracing. Right. So there's a time when you go embrace, you go hug, whatever. Then comes the time when you go call out the enemy. A time to get and a time to lose. That's right. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to win and a time to sow. A, a, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Right. And right now the time is speak. We bring it out the truth, but it's gonna come a time that famine of the word. Hey brother, go to Amos 80 and let me hear off right here. So right now the time is speak. That time of famine of the word is gonna come. A, a time of love and a time to hate. Oh, a time of love and a time to hate. Right. Hate is not in the Bible. You're not a God. You hate people. <laughs> Lord, hate people. He said, Jacob have I love, but Esau have I hated. That was all talking about Esau. No, we're talking about all you evil much. All you devil. A time of war. In a time of peace. And the war is coming. We right. bring that out. It's in the scriptures. It ain't because we wanted it to happen. It's in the Bible. Race war is there, man. And you can't do nothing about it. Even if we thought we was going to preach against it, we just going to get proved wrong in the scripture. It's going to come a day where the sons of Greece, the Edomites, going to be against the sons of vice versa, the sons of Jacob. That's just the physical side, brother. Yeah. Now we, we, we're in war spiritual right now. That's and right. Like you said, that's why we got to put on that, that helmet. That armor, the whole armor. Yeah. Why? Because we had war. Yeah. Verse 9. What profit has he that worketh in the in that we're in labor? Right. So all these things that you're doing, hey, at the end of the day, if you ain't got the Lord, you're going to follow the Lord. You know, but your main purpose is not seeking the most high. It don't matter what else you do. Read that scripture quickly. Amos 8. Verse 9, and it shall come to pass that in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. And I will turn your feet into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head. I will make it as the morning of an only son, and the end thereof is a bitter day. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land. Right. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Right, that day is gonna come, but people ain't gonna be able to get this no more. You go to YouTube, try to find out what's going All on. All the videos gonna be taken down. All the videos gonna be gone, you know? When we look for Hebrews like, 
No word of it. Nothing to do. Lord, please. You no, know, like, whatever. We don't know. Like, bumping ass on the street. Wait, wait. God, use the teeth. Use the brother. Use the teeth. We're going to be like, nope. Oh, God. Right. You know what I mean? Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think I saw them that way. Eight miles a devil. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Right, they're going to be seeking the word of the Lord and not find it. Now they're going to be running to them churches trying to get some understanding. And them church preach, preachers, the Lord going to take the spirit off them. And they're going to say, we sorry, we deceived you. You know, yeah. all they're going to tell you to trust me. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, that's exactly the thing. Run down to the fever camp. I got a question. So I didn't get baptized yet. Am I, do I still have a chance in heaven? Yeah, you do. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So we'll be back next week, Lord willing. We want to say all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honor to the apostles and elders. No, no respect to all the brothers that are teaching the truth all over the earth. They want to say to the secret disciples, to all the brothers that's moving, that's watching, that's studying, keep doing that. Most High will not forget your labor of love, all right? See you next week, Lord.